This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. I wanted to draw a little bit of attention to some concerns raised by Josh Youssef. He's the former New Hampshire Senate candidate who I think got active in part because of some tangles with the court system. So uh, he has some concerns currently about recycling. And I wanted to, you know, recycling is such a holy grail. uh, People don't seem to question it as much as maybe they should. I really don't know. But uh, let's let's read his message uh, that he posted uh, around uh, July 22nd. Quote, mandatory recycling scam. Laconia recently implemented mandatory recycling. Yet another way for the city to provide its taxpayers less value for their dollar. If the CACR, which means uh, Constitutional Amendment Resolution, uh, banning an income tax had passed, it could be argued that mandatory recycling, as instituted by many municipalities across the state, would be unconstitutional. Mandatory recycling and their compliance penalties are tantamount to a tax on labor and at the very least is a form of coerced servitude." Now what he's talking about here is there was a constitutional amendment proposed to ban income taxation in New Hampshire. So anyway, returning to his quote, uh, quote, furthermore, somebody's getting very wealthy off this recycling sham and they're doing so all because of us minions are doing the work for them. At least a pay per bag model would allow for competitors to undercut the city's cost per bag. This is yet another incremental step toward more government control. The liberals are brilliant, though. They have everybody believing that recycling actually saves the planet and that everyone who disagrees with recycling is evil. We need to reveal exactly the truth with the fact check on the recycling sham. Unquote. Well, probably the least contaminated place to collect information about this kind of thing is going to be the Wikipedia. So I'm going to quote from the Wikipedia article, uh, Cost-Benefit Analysis. Quote, there is some debate over whether recycling is economically efficient. It is said that dumping 10,000 tons of waste in the landfill creates six jobs, while recycling 10,000 tons of waste can create over 36 jobs. However, the cost-effectiveness of creating the additional jobs remains unproven. According to the U.S. Recycling Economic International Study, there are over 50,000 recycling establishments that have created over a million jobs in the U.S., Unquote. Of course, I'm not really that interested in whether it's creating jobs. Uh, let's go down further. A quote, a study conducted by the Technical University of Denmark, according to The Economist magazine, found that in 83% of cases, recycling is the most efficient method to dispose of household waste. However, a 2004 assessment by the Danish Environmental Assessment Institute conducted that incar- uh, incineration was the most effective method for disposing of drink containers, even aluminum ones. Unquote. That's significant because I had heard that aluminum was the only thing that was, uh, you know, efficient to recycle. But either way, uh, litter is a big issue, especially plastic litter. And it seems like as individuals, we should do something. And the the thing that seems most appropriate to me and the one I try to do as much as I can is reuse. I just take I try to take a look at everything that I'm about to throw away and ask myself if there's something I could use it for instead of throwing it away, you know, does hanging on to it pose some kind of real liability? For instance, if you hang on to a small plastic baggie and it's got, you know, it's had food in it, well, it becomes a liability in the sense that you have to wash it and then you have to dry it and then you might, it might get, you know, if you, if you wad up a bunch of, of these together and into a box or something like that and they have a little bit of moisture in them, then they go moldy. They attract bugs, so there's a s- slight liability. But on the other hand, if you've got a you know any kind of watertight container, there's a likelihood that it could be used for a few things before you you know a couple more times before you throw it away. Anyhow, you know, I think we can all agree reuse is superior to recycling. Recycling seems to be something of an unknown as whether it's as to whether it's superior to other things, and hopefully many of us can agree at least that the government shouldn't be involved in this at least not in any kind of uh, manner that involves acts of aggression. If they are involved, it should be in a completely voluntary, non-taxpayer-funded way. You know, reading deeper into this 
Wikipedia article, it seems like there's just, it's, it's an endless series of um, problems that, that, that have been going on with recycling. Like, you know, you send something to be recycled and it doesn't even get recycled. I, I keep thinking of that episode of The Simpsons, you know, where Lisa Simpson is trying to urge everyone to recycle, but Mr. Burns takes over the recycling process and turns it into something evil and then it, all, all of Lisa's recycling zombies are out there continuing to do that. And, but Lisa, you told us to recycle. No, stop! It's hurting the environment. So I don't, I don't know. But thanks to Josh Yusef, Yusef for raising a local question related to this. And I'm glad I could hopefully draw a little more attention to it. This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your Bitcoins into real-world stuff. They're privacy-friendly. You don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com